Welcome back. And in our top business news, Dubai Airports has announced that monthly traffic at Dubai International exceeded 6.5 million during April this year, with the operator expecting record volumes for the summer period. According to a press statement, Dubai International welcomed 26.1 million passengers during the first four months of the year registering a 6.5% increase over 24.5 million passengers recorded during the same period last year. Passenger arrivals witnessed a 5.7% increase in April alone, with 6.5 million over 6.15 million passengers arriving last year, which also makes it the third time in the last four months that the figures have reached above 6.5 million. Eastern Europe achieved the highest growth rate during April, with routes to the region registering a surge of 74.6%, driven mainly by Fly Dubai's new services to Slovakia, Bosnia, Bulgaria and Croatia. In terms of passenger numbers, the Indian subcontinent outperformed the rest of the region, with an increase of 167,652 passengers followed by the GCC increasing by 92,069 passengers, and then Western Europe with 65,175 passengers. In the first four months of the year, total aircraft movements rose 6% to 133,493. That's up from 125,928 recorded in the same period in 2014. Meanwhile, year-to-date cargo totaled 798,771 as a contraction of 4.7% compared to 837,837 during the first four months of 2014. The UAE's, the UAE economy's non-oil GDP is expected to surge by 4.4% this year and then 4.5% in 2016 to cross the 440 billion US dollar mark. That's according to a new re report and forecast by Frost and Sullivan. According to the new study, robust non-oil activities, greater public sector spending and huge foreign reserves will propel the UAE's economic growth by 4.4% to $440.18 billion US dollars in 2015. That's up from $416.44 billion in 2014. The report highlighted diversification as a major factor contributing to the growth, which has made the UAE economy less vulnerable to oil price fluctuations, while adding that heightened non-oil private sector performance will be the key factor to drive economic growth. The report, however, appears to be more bullish compared to the World Bank estimates that the UAE's real GDP growth should slow from 4.7% in 2014 to 3.1% in 2015 due to a decline in oil prices. While analysing the regional climate, the study revealed that a robust improvement in consumption demand, generous government support and a rise in public sector infrastructure spending are expected to result in a steady growth in 2015. However, implementing pragmatic macroeconomic policies to stabilize global oil prices at 50 US dollars to 60 per barrel is likely to remain a key challenge to revenue growth. A new Monster Employment Index shows that healthcare hiring in the UAE is on the rise, with online job postings up by 21% from 2014 and 11% from April 2015. According to the index, this growth in online hiring is largely attributed to positive developments in the healthcare sector, such as the upcoming launch of a unified national health base. Furthermore, the rise in hiring is in line with a recent survey published by the Economist Intelligence Unit, stating that the number of healthcare workers needs to rise by 50% over the next six years to meet government targets. According to the index, the IT and telecom industry witnessed top growth in May at 23%, while it also topped the list for occupational growth at 48%. Looking to the region, the banking and finance sector continues to lead growth momentum with an annual increase of 57%, closely followed by the hospitality sector with an annual increase of 51%.